Have you girls decided what kind of cookies you're going to make? Chocolate chip? Can we? They're totally my favorite. Mm -hmm. Mine too. Oh, I, I thought these were for the band bake sale. Don't worry, we'll save some. Okay, uh, chocolate chips? I know where the chocolate chips are. Emma. Okay, we have, let's see which, oh, good, good stash. We've got white chocolate and dark chocolate. Girls are in business. This kitchen's awesome. I know, old stuff looks so much prettier than new stuff. And Faith's grandmother is the best, best cook in town, so I knew she'd have everything that we needed. So why don't we have this stuff at home? Yeah, a cupboard full of chocolate. I have to buy a whole new wardrobe. <laughs> and you better show your piece. And I say I have a little bit of sweet tooth. My mom blisses out on chocolate, too. Isn't it so cute? Let's mess it with flour. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to go give Stormy an apple. The oven is on 375. The aprons are in the drawer. We're not five and we're not 80, okay? Okay. Call me if you need me. Hi. Hey. Hi, honey. Oh, that's a nice healthy snack. <laughs> it's for the horse. Stormy. Faith's horse. That horse likes me more than Faith. Honey, for heaven's sake, your daughter just wants to be different in any way that she can, different from you, and it, it's normal. She's very critical, very critical, very... Am I, was I that harsh at that age? You were much, much worse. Trust me. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all of it. I'm sorry for snapping at you earlier. I just can't stand the way that Faith looks at me right now. It's all going to change. Don't tell me to be patient. No, no, I have, I have zero interest in patience at the moment. I've got a plan. Yes, it's a plan. It'll get you back to being yourself again before you can say trans fat. Stop. I was dreaming Stop. about Daniel. Yeah, he, I could see his face. You just lie down. Lie no, down. no, lie I down. need to get out of here and look for him. Look, he needs me no, right now. No, we all need you. You take one step out of here, you're a dead man walking. I knew this would happen. Maybe we did. Told the no-show. What now? We wait. We wait? I can't sit here and wait. The longer my son is gone, the less of a chance there is that they're ever going to find him. Take a deep breath. Tell me I'm wrong. Tall wants your shares of the intruder. He wouldn't have taken Daniel if he didn't. No, no, we don't know for sure that Tall's the one who actually took Daniel. For all we know, it was Craig. Maybe for once he did his own dirty work. Here we go. Mr. Tall, I'm a friend of Emily's, Dusty Donovan. Are you ready to do business? Uh, if you are. Mm -hmm. At the paperwork? Yes, right here. It's a, it's a complete transfer of the newspaper. I, I've signed over all my shares to you. Doesn't look like you signed anything. What's a snag? Her kid. What the hell's that supposed to mean? It means you get her signature when you give up her kid. Those are the terms. No Daniel, no deal. <laughs> Meg, Meg, thank goodness you're still here. I was afraid you'd gone home. Well, I am going home after I update this. No, 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 you can't do that. Excuse me? It's Paul. His situation has gone from bad to worse. He has isolated himself. He's, he's up in that cabin that he went to after he was shot. The one in the woods? Yes, where you took him to help him heal. He's, he's gone there. I think that's part of the reason. I think he wants to feel close to you. Is that supposed to make me feel guilty? He's all alone. He's hopeless. Okay, I'm sorry, but you need to leave me out of this. He's having some kind of a breakdown. I don't know if it's physical or emotional. I can't make this my problem anymore, Barbara. Okay, the days of me rescuing Paul are over. Please, please, please. If you can get through to him, maybe you're the only person who can. Listen to me. I am not going back to that cabin ever again. Look, I'm going to call Jack. Let him know that you're okay. No. Parker, what's wrong? I'm not going back there, and you can't make Parker. me. mother why did you say that it's hard it's hard to explain but I, I saw something just now what's going on you're, you're acting really Something's freaky wrong. 
think your mother's gotten herself into some serious trouble. Just put the cuffs on me, Jack. I was hoping that things wouldn't end this way. How'd you expect it to end, Carly? With the kids waving goodbye to you at the airport, wishing you luck in your new life? Does that really matter now? What are you waiting for? Just do it. I got a better idea. Catch. I'm not cuffing Carly if that's what you want. Not Carly, me. You. What? Yeah. Knock me to this. You're joking, right? Nope. You're gonna have to knock me out first. No, wait, just wait a minute. We don't have time to argue about this. Your window is like 30 minutes, tops. Okay, 30 minutes, we're not even gonna get to the plane. Then you better get moving, Simon. Okay, using this. All right, this is what you're asking me to do. You want me to knock you out? No, just wait! You're talking about my mom being arrested, right? I didn't know about that. Then why did you say she was in trouble? Sometimes I see things and it doesn't... Well, I don't even know what they mean, but... It seems like I can tell when something bad is gonna happen. Something bad's happening right now. Jack's probably driving my mom to the police station. Well, how do you know that? So I busted her. I let him know where to find her. He turned in your own mom. She wanted my brother JJ to promise not to tell anyone about the secret meeting she wanted to have with us. But I heard him on the phone and I knew it was her. She wanted to talk to us before she ran away again. Ran away where? I, I don't know, somewhere with Simon. She says she loves us, but she's running away to be with him. Well, I'm sure she does love you. Yeah? And why is she leaving us? Well, there's probably more to it than that. Like what? He forced her? No way. Or convinced her that it was for the best. For her, you mean? Look, Parker, sometimes people screw up. Even if they do love you more than anything. If they screw up, they're supposed to do something about it. They're supposed to try and make it right. Yeah, but what if they don't know what is right? What if they're in the middle of something crazy or scary or weird and it's got nothing to do with the people that they love? I will go to the mat with you on this one. You're not going to go against what your father said, what the cardiologist warned this you about. This is no time to try to avoid stress, not until Daniel is safe. I know, but if you go charging out of here and you have another heart attack, then what does Daniel have to come home to? Haven't we been to enough funerals lately? <sighs> yes, we have. And I hate like hell that you have to lie here while your son is missing, but the rest of us, the rest of us have to do the heavy lifting for now. Then just tell me, how is this search being handled? You don't need to know the details. You just have to trust me and know that Dallas and the other uniforms are out there looking. You know that I blame myself for this. I know you do, and you should stop. No, I should have said no to Emily when she said she wanted to take Daniel away for a couple of days. I had a weird feeling, and, and, I, and I should have said no. I know, but you were just trying to be fair. No, I was tired, and I was trying... To avoid the drama that goes along with saying no to Emily. Well, there is no right answer when it comes to Emily. Does Emily still believe that Craig is behind this? Honey, I don't know. I don't know. But I talked to Craig, and I think he's clean this time. Well, then if he's not responsible, who is? I, why don't you just let me worry about that? Damn it, Marco. You tell me what the hell's going on, or I will check myself out of here tonight.